Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 7 tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about Eloquent Relationship 1 to 1. 1 to 1 model relationship is a very simple and basic. You have to sure that one of the tables has a key that references the ID of the other table. For understanding this, I will create two tables. Uh, first is users table and another one phones table. Both tables are connected with each other. So let's create a model for th these tables. Uh, user model and migration is already created. Uh, you can see here. So go to the project and uh, inside the app folder, you can see here the user model. Okay. And inside the uh, database folder, migration, and you can see here create users table migration okay now create model and migration for the phone table so go to the command prompt and here just type php artisan make colon model uh, space model name let's say model name is phone and dash m this is for the migration so now press enter model created and uh, it's creating migration all right now go to the create phone table migration so inside the database migration folder you can see here create phone table migration just open this and here add some column so just write here dollar table array begin big integer and just pass here the user id also unsigned all right get another column table a string and column name let's say phone all right now add the foreign key so just write here table arrow foreign and pass here the column name which is user id user underscore id and references references with id column of user table you can see here create user migration this so just add here id and on users table all right now save the file now go to the user model so go inside app folder and just click on users model and just add here public function phone okay and just return here dollar this arrow has one inside this just pass here app slash phone all right now go to the phone model and here add the table name first so just write here protected dollar table is equal to phones and add a function public function user and inside this function just return dollar this 
belongs to app slash user all right now migrate the migration so switch to the command prompt and here just type php artisan migrate okay so press enter it's migrating all right the create phone table migration is migrated you can see here go to the localhost php my admin and just click on database you can see here phones table okay if i click on browse you can see here user id id user id phone and this created ad and updated ad okay all right now create a controller and test this one uh, to one relationship so switch to the command prompt and here just create a controller so type here php artisan make colon controller this controller name which is user controller all right now press enter all right controller has been created so now go to the user controller inside the app folder http controllers and you can see here user controller just open it and here just create a function for insert record so just type here public function function name let's say function name is insert record okay and inside this uh, first of all yeah here import the phone model so just write here app slash phone okay also add the user model all right now here add here dot dollar dollar phone is equal to new phone and dollar phone is equal to dollar phone arrow phone is equal to add the phone number so let's see this is the phone number and now user is equal to new user and here add the user name let's say name is Jennifer dollar user email is equal to Jennifer at the rate gmail.com and dot user let's say password is equal to encrypt in encrypt and let's say password is secret all right now call the same method and here dollar dollar user phone and call the same method and just pass here the this object dollar phone okay so just write here dollar phone all right now in last just return our message return record has been created successfully all right now save the file and now create the route so go to the web.php file so just click on route web.php 
and here just add route colon colon bit route URI which is let's say add user controller name user controller add the rate method name method name is insert record so just copy this and paste here all right now save the file now let's check so go to the browser and here just add in the url slash add user okay now press enter you can see here record has been created and go to the php my admin and just click on users browse link and you can see here the user and if i click on phone table just uh, click on browse you can see here user id and phone number okay now fetch this record so go to the controller and create another function for fetching this record so just click on user controller and here just add another function public function let's say function name is fetch uh, phone by user okay now just write here dollar phone user find let's say id is one and get the phone number so it's called here uh, phone okay now return this phone number so just return here phone dollar phone okay now copy this method name and create a route for this so go to the web.php and here the route colon colon get let's say uri is slash get phone controller name user controller method name at the rate fetch by user okay now save the file and switch to the browser and just here in the url just type your localhost 8 colon 8000 slash get phone of user id 1 so just click on press enter you can see here phone number of user id 1 okay if i create another user so just to go to the user controller and uh, add here another user details so just write here let's say zone email id is on at the gmail.com now save the file and just here call the add user record has been created you can see here another records and then another phone records and if i click on browse user you can see here another user is on okay and if i get the second record so just pass the id of second user to and just go to the get phone uri you can see here user id phone number okay so in this way you can use one to one eloquent relationship that's all about one to one eloquent relationship thanks for watching this video and if you will still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching